Hello everyone, it's Jess Hearts and today we're going to be building what you guys voted for, a fairy tale build. So I went ahead and I sketched a tree and then I was like, nah, I'ma just wing it and build this. And I won't lie, it would probably be super annoying to play in due to the trees intercepting into the huts, but you know, for the gram. Um, this took me a hella short time uh, to build, thankfully. I actually started building this before the pole even finished because it was already winning by a landslide and I was just super keen on the fairy tale idea. I hope you guys like it. Um, yeah, anyway, how's everyone be doing? How's your weekend? I have the chillest weekend ever at my boyfriend's. We met the baby I spoke about last week and he is the calmest and sleepiest baby ever. He woke up to feed then passed out again. Woke up for a change and then passed out again. And I don't know about you guys but I can relate to that so much. He was so abor adorable too. When we, vi um, when we visited all the men like started chopping wood and splitting wood and I was just standing there with the auntie chatting for hours and I felt kind of useless. So I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna rake some leaves. So I just started raking leaves for ages. They ended up being like a jolly big pile of leaves at the end. Was half tempted to start jumping in them like they do in The Sims, but something tells me I probably would have copped a piece of wood to the knee. <laughs> yeah, we had a pretty relaxing weekend. We ended up, um, like gaming till very late at night was gonna pass uh, was gonna watch movies but you know I'm old so I just ended up passing out I remember being like a kid and having sleepovers and just chatting and giggling till like 4am and not having a single issue now I'm not have now if I'm not like having a night out or a special occasion I end up asleep at like 11 or 12 mind you I was up to 1am this morning playing pool on my phone and watching youtube videos that just be how it is sometimes it's madness <laughs> anyway here is like the basic shell of the build I um I know the roofs are kind of weird and that's because they just wouldn't work like it was like into um inflicting block clusters or whatever I don't know but I'm kind of happy how they ended out like using some of like the plants and everything as the actual roofing I think it ended up being kind of like the right thing to do Hmm. Oh yeah, I thought of an idea for a build challenge for myself. I thought about building a house entirely out of CC. Um, and I used to use a lot of CC back in the day, but then I decided, you know, I'd just go with Max's mass match. It's easier for me. It's easier for you. And I thought, you know, why not dip my toes back into the world of custom <laughs> content and, uh, yeah, try to make a house entirely out of CC. So yeah, nothing from like the game at all, apart from like, you know, the actual walls, I guess, and roofing, like the actual building mechanics. So like f wallpaper, flooring, everything like that, windows are going to be CC if I can help it. If that's something you guys would like to see, let me know. I also did, um, also yeah, did you guys hear or see how a simmer has been like working on a mod where you can control your sims in the sims 4 with the wasd keys or the arrow keys i'm i'm unsure so it's like playing gta or something and i am so flipping keen for that i'm definitely doing a video on that it's going to come out in the next few days well hopefully i'll do a video on that anyway <laughs> it's going to be very interesting i wonder if it works in like first person because it would be super surreal if that happens Mm. Imagine if The Sims came to VR. That would be kind of scary, but I doubt it wouldn't make people like motion sick. I don't usually get motion sickness, but The Sims 4 first person can do that to me sometimes. What's a cool little thing that The Sims team did put in though, in my opinion? Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I downloaded the Island Paradise pack for The Sims 3, so I've decided that I might do a Sims 3 Island Paradise boat house like, uh, like, kind of speed build and I am so heckin keen I still haven't booted it up and I bought it yesterday I was fighting the urge heavily to play instead of recording this vo voiceover but here I am I definitely am gonna give that a go after this or finish building the next tv show thing build which I hope you guys enjoy I'm super excited for it I haven't seen anyone else build this specific one yet so I'm keen for you lot to all see it also, yeah, any suggestions for movie, TV show, or cartoon builds are super appreciated. I love those builds. They take a bit of research, but, you know, that's, like, half the fun. And trying to get them as accurately um, represented in The Sims as possible. But, yeah, here we have, like, the main room of the treehouse, which is, like, the dining, kitchen, and study seating area. And I really like this room. I think, no, this is my favorite room. Probably the living room is but I still love how quaint this room is and how the tree kind of 
works in this room. I forgot entirely about it until right at the end. Then I popped it back in. But yeah, I think I really like this room. Oh my gosh, I also have the best news. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know we've been looking for a puppy. And we finally found one and we'll be getting him in two weeks. I am so excited. I'm going to be a stay-at-home puppy mum to two beautiful fluff nuggets. And yes, here he is. His name is Milo. Look at his little eyes and his little fluffy flips. I am in love. I showed my um dog Polly a photo of him and she didn't give a crap. But we're hoping being since she never had her own litter that she know like adopts him kind of but yeah I also just said how I'm going to be a stay-at-home puppy mom and I have been asked this a few times on Twitter how I have the spare time to build and that's because I am currently unemployed unfortunately if you live in Tassie Australia you know how bad like the unemployment rate is it's like not from a lack of trying. I apply for jobs left, right and centre every other day. I want a job. I need a job. Don't get me wrong. I love playing on The Sims, working in it and YouTube. But I get restless a lot. I need to be standing and doing stuff. But there isn't many jobs going around. I swear there is never any jobs going around. And like I just looked it up just then and Hobart, Tasmania has the highest rate of unemployment in any capital city in Australia. There just isn't that many jobs going around and like we also have the highest rent um, as far as I'm aware which is just bollocks. Sorry for getting all political and stuff but I know a lot of other Australian YouTubers have been going through the same struggles and it is tedious. You apply for like 20 jobs and maybe two will get back to you only to be like, sorry, the position has been filled. Never thought I'd miss school, but boy, oh boy, do I miss it now. Not my high school, but definitely my college. You know, like having that good routine and everything. Oh, well, just got to keep working at it. Keep my head up and something might happen. Kind of difficult too, because I don't actually have my license. For those who don't know, I'm actually really scared of being in cars. I'm fine with buses, but in cars, I get like mad anxiety, especially on highways. It's terrible. And the reason why is because I was in a pretty bad, like, two near misses in the same day with someone else driving and guess what I didn't know before that but the bugger that was driving didn't even have their license but yeah long story short I don't talk to them anymore <laughs> I think I just need to play some more Forza people have like um suggested that funnily enough I adore racing or car orientated games I love the needs for speed um, Forza, GTA, Simpsons Hit and Run. One of my first racing games was Midtown Madness on the Xbox. Man, talk about a blast from the past. I didn't even play the story. I just drove around because I was super young and I sucked at it. <laughs> I just didn't understand what to do. But yeah, I'll get there eventually. Anyway, back to the build. You can see here, like, the smallest room or hut wasn't actually connected to any trees. So I just kind of made, like, this makeshift kind of, like hodgety podgety uh connected system with like bits of wood and I think it kind of looks cool I don't know it looks a little bit weird though but yeah I think it works anyway what's everyone's plans for the week I'm gonna try and make an omelette for the first time tonight maybe but I might just end up eating pizza <laughs> I don't have much hope for myself making an omelette I can poke eggs and they are tricky so maybe I'll be okay you know I can speak to egg I can speak egg I can do it oh Oh yeah, um, before I forget, the hospital asylum video will be out in a while. I know it was meant to be out last Friday, but I've been researching everything and I won't lie, it's really put me in a bad mood reading how horrible it was for the people there and honestly I can't imagine how difficult it would be for people who do those dark historical videos all the time. I used to watch a YouTuber called Kaylee Elise and if you like those kinds of things, I highly recommend her. But she actually had to step away from YouTube because those um, kinds of videos all the time were impacting her poorly. And I can totally tell why. It's like put me in a bad mood and I don't want to do it anymore kind of. But I really also want to because it's an important thing to remember what happened. But yes, hopefully it's out at some point. It is a very long video though, so it's going to be a bit intense. Okay, so a bit of a tangent there, but yeah, what's we doing? We're building a little kid's room. Yeah, these this room is kind of a bit tricky. I'm not even sure if it works. But yeah, I love making like these little cluttered kind of builds. I think they're really cute. I also love mucking around with height variations with rooms, like you can see with the tree branches. I'm so glad they added that ability in The Sims. 
Oh yeah, EA plays in like four days, I think. I'm so excited. I think the live stream is like 6am for me and I'm tempted to set an alarm and watch it to be honest. I reckon I will. Plus it means I can have an early morning and you know, I like waking up early, get more stuff done. Mind you, days and dates are confusing because I'm in Australia and I think that's in America. But yeah, I'll have to figure that one out. I'm so excited about what they're going to announce. I'm semi hoping they announce a rehaul or revamp of NPCs and babies. So like babies that aren't just a burrito (laughs) and bring back burglars, firemen and policemen. Ah, I even miss the home phone landlines and the newspaper delivery, even though I always just chuck it straight in the bin when I play The Sims 3. I know not everyone has landlines anymore, but people still read the newspaper and get it delivered. I don't know, man. I think those things bring so, so much more character and detail to the game. But yeah, man, I hope I they bring back like semi-open worlds or open worlds in The Sims 5. But yeah, here we have the screenshots. Um, As you can see, really cluttered, cute, eclectic kind of build. I put shelves on the trees um, because I thought it just like, they look like a big lump, but I think they look better with the shelves on them. But yes, I gotta go. So remember to subscribe, like and comment, tick that bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!